This video is comparing the Pixel 6a in charcoal, which is on the left of the screen, versus the Pixel 7 in lemongrass. Now, when you look at them, you can see there are some obvious differences, mostly notable on the camera visor area. The one on the Pixel 7 is quite a bit larger, and you can see it sticks out quite a bit more than on the 6A in charcoal. Now with these, when you look at the screens, the 6A is a 6.1 inch and the Pixel 7 is a 6.3, so it's only a tiny bit larger, but on the screen, you're also gonna see on the 7 that it has a 90 hertz screen and the Pixel 6a only has a 60 hertz screen. Also, you can do reverse wireless charging. You can see hopefully that the magnet is making the Pixel case stay there. Um, if you had some other phone or earbuds that do charge wirelessly, you would be able to charge them with the Pixel 7, but not with the 6a. Now, another thing is when you're unlocking them, the Pixel 7 has a fingerprint as well as Face ID, but the Pixel 6 only has the fingerprint or a code that you can put in. So the battery is going to be bigger on the Pixel 7 as well. And with the 6a, it's going to be 4,400 milliamps and on the Pixel 7, it's 4,355 milliamps on that one. So keep in mind though, that you don't get the fast wireless charging on the 6A and you can't wireless, wirelessly charge something else. So keep that in mind. And when you are in the Pixel 7, you are gonna have a little bit more memory as well. So it's eight gigs of RAM versus the six gigs on the 6A. Also, the Google Tensor chip was updated on the 7, so you have the second generation, whereas on the 6A, it's the first. And you're not going to be able to do as much when it comes to the cameras, because while it does have this wide camera on the back, it's only 12 megapixels versus the 50 megapixels on the Pixel 7. When it comes to the front camera on the Pixel 6a, it's going to be eight megapixels and it has a narrower field of view. So it's not as wide as the Pixel 7, which also boasts an upgraded 10.8 megapixel camera for its lens. Now, in addition to some changes in the hardware, there are some software changes as well. You're gonna be able to do things like the photo unblur, which will take pictures even taken with other devices and help unblur them using their photo processing that's only available on the seven and higher. So if you want that feature, then you're gonna wanna make sure that you're in the seven. 